Welcome back to FIFA 19. Journey so far. Alex and Danny began their first ever Champions League campaigns on a high, winning both of their opening matches. What is this theme? It's the menu theme from the bottom. But Alex's training was dealt a blow as he failed at a special training session. Yeah, this probably won't affect the story too much. Oh, there we go. I'm right, aren't I? Well, we'll see. Usually when you that's say the we'll way, see, Carl, that's... a 3 class result, especially with the Williams footy on the pitch. So what's next? Uh, well, football. Well, yeah, but I thought it was like training or whatever, man. Yeah, yeah, we got, oh, yeah, we got a training set. The order of the day is set pieces. They need work, that much is for sure. Yeah, I do struggle with it. Let's have a good session today, yeah? All right, lads, all right, lads. <laughs> Seriously. Yes. <sighs> so, Twins, uh, did you actually go and study our Final Fantasy 14 to play for, for this? Yes, and I don't have which you guys love. Aren't you really enjoying this, Shirai? Oh, God. He's probably in a better did. place, Jova. Well, it's just, well, hey, hey, it was done in like five, it was done in like 15 seconds, so you didn't even have to hear 15 it. 15 seconds, but we'll never get back in my life. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's better than the trumpet theme. Well, next time. Oh, well, well there guys. you go. Well, there you go, Dwip. Shuri apparently likes it better than the trumpet theme, so there's that. I, I appreciate it enough. Okay, well. Yeah, I gave you guys some variety. Let me talk hey, about one. And hey, it's, it's it's a continuation of my revenge for when Joba kept interrupting my part intros. Those were like years ago when we were practicing. Also, dweebs, who cares? Yeah, like an elephant. Also, dweebs, we Brits hold grudges. Also, not only that, dweebs, but I don't hold grudges for whatever you interrupted my intros. Oh, look who it is over there. Dun, the brother. Dun, 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 big, dun, big also, is that, little, is that little fun there? In the background. Lily, Lily, now is not the time. Oh my yeah, god. It's, it's, it's a GG Buffon. Get cut so charming. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking smile. <laughs> wow. Always with that smile. Is Sephiroth his dad or something? That would explain a lot. Yeah, the smile be being incredibly petty. Even his uh, his he Twitter photo, even his Twitter photo profile has that smug. All that's missing is the Edgeworth S also haircut. Also, that draw. Look at look at that draw line. Hashtag <laughs> brother battle. Why not? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, you know. Also, you know, for Terry saying you care about the uh, about what Daddy thinks. Um... Still seems to be rather <laughs> Mega Man, seriously. The yellow devil Best theme. Well, yeah. And good evening to you. I thought well, you were going to, going to I thought you were going I thought you were going to put something like instead uh, on a Virgil battle things from Devil May Cry because you know brothers. Uh... I'm not really too familiar with Devil May Cry. Uh that's nice. A picture of someone's rear side. Should be a very significant occasion. His name are uh, back when fans thought they'd like him. I'm guessing this didn't age well. Not really. What happened? Was he a sucky player? No, no, no. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a good player. Terrible but he's person. got a terrible attitude. Figures. He's got himself sent off more than on, on one occasion for doing something incredibly stupid. Like. Uh, getting physical. <laughs> really? Mm. Jesus. So what, like chopping the player's legs? No. <laughs> I, think, I think he punched someone at one point. Oh. That kind of I physical. Think, I can't remember for sure. Again, there, there seems to be quite a few players recently that have all the talent in the world, but a giant Mm. It's almost as if all that money and, you know, social position and power can go to your head. I swear, if I ever become so that wait, thing... Since, 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 uh, I think, I believe, since this is another special match, there won't be much in the way of editing. Sure, why not? 
I mean, again, special occasion. Oh my god, guys. That's the team that Alex used to be on. At least I remember that uniform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since then, they got rid of Alex Hunter. But in order to, because they can't score as many goals without him, he had to fill in the defensive gap. So they got a, so they got a reject from Serie A. <laughs> but that's the thing for a guy who was... Remember, he, was at the, he was at an Italian club at one point. Yeah, and they got he mentioned that. But he never played in it. So that's the thing for a guy. He acts pretty smart for a guy who, you know, kind of got booted by the sounds of it. Well, oh, because he's got a bloody ego the size of Mount Vesuvius. Yeah, but usually it helps to have something that <laughs> actually back that We have a bigger up. volcano you can compare, you can use to compare that. Oh? Uh, Yet no. Uh, yes, your dude actually is right on that. that he's actually bigger. Sicily has bigger volcanoes. Uh, Stromboli is there, but it's mostly, you know, Etna, the bigger one. Is he's still your, active. Is that your favorite? Uh, <laughs> Oh wow, yeah, my uh, definitely my top see, uh, three. Wow, uh, so his brother, so Danny's brother's gotten off to a wonderful defensive start. He was right next to Danny, and he still. Oops. Also, Jova, yes, my definitely the, the very necessary and favorite of me top ten favorite Italian volcanoes. I'm surprised I've never seen that list on YouTube, honestly. Well, watch more Joe will probably have it at some point, so why not? <laughs> We're scraping bottom of barrel yeah, anyway. And it'll probably be something with... What is Buffon doing here? What? For those of them, uh, the uh, for, for the three people who don't know, Gigi Buffon is actually one of the best goalkeeper in the entire history of a sport. Not even joking. The guy is also very a trooper. He's, uh, what, what is pushed in now? 40? 40 plus? And he's still doing his... Uh, his service, uh, and he's still very good at it. Uh, and I nearly broke his legs. Leaves. Well, I should have expected that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't touch him. I expected nothing, and I'm still disappointed. <laughs> nice to know you guys have such faith. I prefer have hope to Dweebs because you know what they say, hope is the last thing that dies. So technically, by is technical he... margin, hope is better than faith. <laughs> you see guys, this is why I made those, uh, this is partly why I made those uh, musical choices. Because of your lack of faith in me. And, they wanted to put and if you add some dreams to that, it's even better. You sh you're surely are demonstrating to be the better person, Dweebs. Thank you. <laughs> well done, Drax, well done. Yeah, that was a terrible throw, Dweebs. It wasn't a throw, it was a cross. And... A kick, whatever. You, the, action that you, throw, uh... the action that that particular player performed. Well, so the yeah, it was also great. What are you doing? Dweebs. Oh, okay. <laughs> Be patient. So, we've got the commentators talking about the uh, brothers fighting. Again, gonna need to spice it up, though. Did we ever got to something okay, like uh, this? Guy, I appreciate you trying to make it dramatic, but the, the story of Kane and Abe. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Can you imagine? But actually, that's a, that's a good thing. Has it ever happened? I'm pretty sure with lots of probability, it might have happened. Like, it actually happened in the history of uh, the sport uh, that. Uh, um, two brothers had to face each other onto the field. Maybe. Well, don't you see? That was actually a funny story, actually. That was the plot of a, of one of the series of a Dream Team. A, um, a long-running... Okay, it was cancelled back in 2007. But it was a long-running, um, soap, ser soap, serialized soap, based off, um, based off a fictional football club. Oh. Well, it didn't end well for one of them. What, did they, did they actually kill him or something? He, uh, he, he, it turned out, okay, spoiler, by the way, it sure. turned out that he was secretly running the club, um, without anyone noticing. What, there's like and Maxwell Lord? <laughs> and when the manager found out about it, he got so angry that he struck him on the head of a small glass uh, jar. 
And he killed him as a result, uh, accidentally. Yes. <laughs> that's some that's some murder she wrote uh, type of murder plot line. They managed to keep that fact concealed. Go, Daddy, go, 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 go. They managed, they managed to keep that fact concealed up until the uh, near the beginning of the next season. Huh. So we, just, we we were just saying something like, oh, don't worry, he's just got away for like a journey or something. At the beginning, but I see them like, oh no, turns out he's actually dead. Uh, oh no, no, no! They just uh, the manager just tries to avoid any mention of huh. yeah, until he gets uh, arrested for it in the next season. Of this so is there, is there a situation where that the viewer gets to know that uh, and we get to see the character actually get caught? Or is it instead a situation yeah. where there's a mystery going yeah. on? Oh. oh, no, 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 he gets caught. Oh, no, no, I know that, believes. But what I mean is that does the viewer have foresight for this? Is it a thing that we see the murder taking place before yeah. it gets revealed? Oh, okay. No, 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 no. It, it takes place. We see it. We, they don't, they don't try and pull a murder mystery. <laughs> eh, bit of a shame, so I, I guess, know, but... Uh... Also, I noticed the commentator was a bit late reacting to the goal. <laughs> Maybe he was just eating his bagel, I don't know. Bagel. Like, oh, oh yeah. it, it, it was seriously, it was like a, two more additional minutes of at a time. Oh, they scored! Maybe he was too busy trying to think of more Cain and abel -esque dialogue. Maybe it was a really good bagel. Honestly, though, wouldn't that be funny if the main reason we don't see Danny in any of the future events between Kim and Alex is because he's actually gone to jail for murdering his brother or something in one of the cutscenes? Jesus, that, 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 that really will take a dark turn. No, 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 no uh, the brother, despite, despite the pair of brothers hating each other for, for years by that point, um, he was so devastated by the death of his brother, he moved to Australia. To do what? Find himself? Meditate? Study under a guru? Uh, to, uh, to, um, to try and look after some other parts of his family. That, uh, because he has family in Australia, I guess. Right. Or he considers the kangaroos yeah, his family and then, and then now. The, and, then, and then the final season was them trying to Premier League, while at the same time dealing with a new internal threat from a uh, forum user called Dragon Slayer, who's been leaking out all their secret meetings. <laughs> oh no, it's Lil Breen! <laughs> actually, actually... I'm gonna, I'm gonna hack into no this... this no red laptops, or, um... <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna... Again, I'm gonna hack these football team to uncover this conspiracy yeah. that's going on all of this time. The man, the man behind it was a disgruntled um, was a disgruntled coach of the team whose career was ended by an injury. It never sounds like something off of a plot of the neighbors. The what? The neighbors. You never heard of that show? Or the soap opera? No, Tommy was so sitcom show. Oh, oh, sorry, that's the only neighbors I know. <laughs> yeah, basically, Shirai Tommy was so made a sitcom series called The Neighbors. I mean, the one Dwibs is referring to is just called Neighbors. I do, I think. I don't think there's a the at the beginning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fun, fun fact, actually, um, that's the reason why that Seth Rogen film Neighbors got renamed Bad Neighbors round here and I guess in Australia. Uh, copyright, copyright. Sometimes copywriting stuff that... Well, I mean, uh, especially, especially when you use a very simple common word. Well, I mean, I mean, the, well, I mean, the neighbors beat them to the punch by like 30 years. Again, John, I watch uh, the moment someone trademarks the word revelations, uh, that will be the moment, uh, you know, companies will, will stop naming their products like that. Mm-hmm. Impress the boss, take possession, ay ay ay, and even things up. Alright, Danny, job's all yours. Buffon, what are you doing? And. Nope. Still got it. I bet even if Buffon was blindfolded, he'd still catch that. Well, yeah. Alright, substitution. Substitution time. 
have decided to go for the short option. And he's pulled it back here. Oh. <laughs> wow. Close but no cigar. PSG are going to ah, around something the about that always tends to be especially humiliating. Well, he done everything right. He'd really when you're actually this close, uh, but you know, you're actually pulling, uh, the getting the metal uh, uh, pole instead of the actual I, net. Uh, I hate it whenever that happened to me in a soccer game. It's mostly, it's mostly just a probability thing, uh, you know, it's, yes, it's dictated by the laws of physics and all that shit uh, tied to how you kick uh, the direction of the wind and the terrain you're in and everything. But it's bound to happen at any point. Mm -hmm. Six to zero, Jesus. We're really rubbing out, we're really rubbing out dickhead from his face in it. Uh, he'll probably just come up with some... So do we uh, get like a... It came off somebody up there and it went in. So do we get like a cutscene after the match is over where the Bravo has this evil scowl of, uh, you know, disappointment uh, because he lost? Uh, not yet. <laughs> oh, I was hoping for something akin to when Alex helps. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get it. Wait, is it gonna be like when Alex helps Gareth up at the end of the final game in the first journey? That's not till way later, Jeremy. Yeah, come on, Java. You need we need to actually pace things up. We cannot solve yes, Jeremy, this for arc immediately. Uh, we can't we can't solve everything straight away. I think this it's early game. <laughs> well, to be fair, I was referring to when we'll eventually get to that point. Not like, you know, right now, obviously. But I mean, like, at the final confrontation, we'll be like with Gareth, where he helps him up, and then no other dialogue is spoken. And you'd think they'll mend things, but it turns out, nah, they'll still be at each other's throats. We'll see, Patience is required. And Nissan. And Nissan, yes, that's right. As well as MasterCard, because with MasterCard, our credit debts are priceless. <laughs> well, if, yeah, well, that's the thing, though. With MasterCard, you don't get a Visa card, which sucks because Visa's better. Yes, yes. I it prefer is. MasterCard, sorry. Sadly, we have to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest, but all credit to any... Oh, wow. Even the, even the commentators are admitting that it's not really a contest. I mean, it's 7 to 0, Jova. Like, this point... Well, okay, let me make it 8. And, uh, and uh, yeah, well done, uh, well done, Daddy. You've, again, once again, you've... Uh, Scored a goal and your brother was right nearby you see it. I think at this point Danny's character arc could be considered completed with how much he is absolutely spanking his brother. Uh, underestimate the power of spite. Oh wait, wait, wait. Also, me, remember, also, we still got another fixture to play against. Let me guess, also, let me guess. Chief, so. Let me guess, Danny finds that he is slowly becoming like his brother, for his he is brother, too yeah. sore of a winner, essentially. Or more like, uh, when he wins, uh, he finds the victory empty and he thinks, but at what cost uh, has it happened? Uh, no. Yeah, Danny is not exactly that like Shakespearean true. Yeah, true, I mean, that's the thing about Danny, he, okay. He's a good character, but he is arguably the most simple of the characters. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but it's like, well... He doesn't really have any complexities to him. I mean, Did they just learn to get along or something? What? Do they just learn to get along or something? Uh, not really. I, again, yeah, guys. After yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. We will get our payoff, but we can't... We can't keep uh, risking support. Martians invade the planet, and so... while Alex is fighting them, they accidentally killed Danny's brother, and he grieves because he lost, the, and he realizes when in his loss, he actually cared about him, but it was too late. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, Dreams. Okay, question. As someone who's played this game, without spoiling, how well do you think that this game as a whole wraps up the trilogy plot one? I cannot answer that without spoiling. Okay, fair really? enough. Really? Okay. Should be interesting. I mean, it's the conclusion, Drew. It has to be expected that even talking briefly about it might spoil stuff. Oh, oh, another yellow card. <laughs> Harry, Harry Potter, yes, sir. That guy totally oh. gets a lot of Harry oh, Potter sorry, jokes guys, on his uh, way, doesn't he? That led to the yellow card. Um, I, uh... You skipped through it, yeah. I, uh, I, I, uh, what happened was, I, uh... 
Uh, I, I tapped him on the foot, but the referee was being really evil and decided to give me a yellow card just for that. Uh huh. Don't ever be a witness. Always somebody else's fault. <laughs> you would be. Oh, I have, there have been times where I admitted something was my fault in these games. True. And you say it's always my fault. I never said it was always your fault. Well, when no, no, it happens, she we just... no, she worried. did. When it happens, we just try not to make it count. And so Danny Williams gets another. He should. He should get two match balls. He scored two hat tricks. Do they have such a thing for such an occasion? <laughs> Probably not. Uh... No, but they should do. They fact, cannot... that's what that's, that, make it the Williams rule. They can only afford so many balls, Dwibs. And remember, They're Alex rich. stole most of these. They're rich, they can make more in a minute. Hmm. And so, yeah. It cost my connection to the EA servers, but it was all... Alas, uh, alas. <laughs> Held up but longer hey, than uh, the Nintendo the ones. Yeah. You again. What did it feel like oh. the Hang on, let's see what Danny thinks of getting the better of his brother. Not too oh, I never really had any doubt that we'd win, mate. Confidence. And old Terry, he's not as quick as he used to be, is he? Ooh. <laughs> Are you saying Terry's past his prime? All I'm saying is that you need to keep an old eye on the sell-by date. Ooh. Jesus. That's exactly what you said. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he'll have a laugh about that. He's going to... He's so, he's so stuffy. He's going to send the Yakuza and bomb that's the his, team. Well, that's <laughs> thing. His, uh, his sense of humor is so... You probably, you probably think, uh, you probably think the Godfather is one of the greatest comedies of all time. I mean, Godfather Part Three was pretty funny. <laughs> Not for the intended use, Jova. <laughs> but to you, every time I think I'm out, they pull me back in. No, my lucky coat. Ah! <laughs> oh God! Oh, by the way, we Seriously, have time. How did we? How the hell did we go from uh, I'll make you an offer I can't refuse to uh, helicopter gunship attack? The same way we went to the Mafia apparently literally having ties with the Pope. And uh, Sophia Boutel is act. She... There is no defending it. I mean, she probably meant well and she's a good director from what I hear. All right, more training, and don't worry. I think there's, from what I recall, actually, they no, were not going to do any training. Actually, at least not with oh. uh, Danny, because I got bored of Danny, and I'm now going well, on. Yeah, Danny. let's get to Alex. So why not? Also, don't worry, guys. I think this is the last time I pick a delib I deliberately pick a bad song for. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> Wait, what was bad about that last song? I was all about the. Right. Uh, the metal remix of a chocobo theme. Honestly, you know what? For as much as it may initially make me cringe, I, th th sometimes the surprise is worth it in the end. Good for you, Joe. I still cannot stand it. The trumpet theme was the only one that brought back memories. Which that one, Monsieur Roy? Good. The one from Time and Eternity or the one from Fairy Fence Ra? The one from Fairy exactly. Fence or the one that Dwibs used in this. <sighs> Yes, because I because I really I, I really appreciate all you guys. Uh, you know. All right, let's change. Okay, that that. Okay, I've decided to get rid of the afro and just have him have really sh have really short hair. Yeah. Oh boy! Oh boy, guys, we're facing on. Okay. Yes, that Jeez. great that great sporting team, on. On. Okay. <laughs> Okay, it's Olympique Marseille, but still, it's it's the it's the abbreviation. Okay. Real Madrid has no choice but to perform at arm. Um. This is what living the dream looks like. Good seeing you at the FIFA say no to racist Alex Hunter, or setting a great example. Ah, oh, that's nice. Yeah, off screen, yes. but it's nice.
Oh man. Ah, this brings back memories. I feel thankful that I don't have context. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Um, it's from a good game show. It's a song from Super Mario Land. Yeah. Ah. Which, which later got remixed for Smash Brothers Brawl. Remember, well, yeah, for the original Super Mario Land, the only thing we remember is our, our Daisy and the music. Everything else, gone. Yeah, I think Tatanga gets Orta. mentioned here and there, but, uh... Yeah, yeah Tatanga, I think, was, like, I, I mentioned in the description. Oh, that, that player, he nearly tripped me up. You still score, but... In literally the first few seconds... He tripped me up and broke my legs. At least you get to it's see only what bad when you like. do it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag oh, yeah, equal game. And he nearly kicked me in the chest. Well, at least it was in the groin. Honestly, I think the chest is worse because of the stunts. Uh... Well, well, Jova. As someone uh, who has... I'm gonna leave this one up to the guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna... It's say... easier to repair your chest. It's easier to repair your groin than, your... than what's in your chest. Dwibs, as someone who's played soccer physically, I might beg to differ as to which one hurts more. Oh, I have as well. Well, we'll see this again, and it's inches from going wide. It doesn't hit the post and goes in. Keeper is distraught. So 2-0 now. Luis Gustavo with it. Good tackle. Oh, he's through here. Only the keeper to beat. Joy for the Merengues. Real Madrid have scored. Well, they pushed and pushed. They tested and tested and they... Anyway, got Hunter, well done, team. Actually, it wasn't Hunter that scored that one. It was Cross. Yeah, the other had three clicks in the after. So do they have a term for like when you get ten shots Fantastic all to one player? Uh, again, different commentators. What I mean is like, was there a term for something that's like a hat trick but bigger? Yeah, I think so. Monster kill. Well, as we see, there'll be an inquest between keeper and defenders. He'll be saying, where were you? And they'll be saying, why didn't you catch it? Oh? <laughs> ah, uh, 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 yes. The defending blame game. Who was more at fault? The keeper for not catching it, or the defenders for just not being there? Hey, Bob Bleak, what happened with that? <laughs> and they fell for it again. You know, I'm surprised that EA never fought to make a sequel to their Quidditch World Cup game and just give it a story mode. Well, I mean, they don't have the rights to Harry Potter already. Yeah. I'm talking about back in the day when they had the opportunity. I guess yeah, back then they thought it was fine. The, same, the, 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 the actual PS2 version of the World Cup was technically fine, as it was, and, and they didn't have the zombie version. And the Game Boy Advance version was a perfectly good isometric curve. Uh, I had the PC version back in the day. I only had, the, like I said, I only had the PC version of the Philosopher's another, another yellow card. Uh, Jesus. Wait, hold on, but I think. Is this one for the other team, though? No, yours. Are. Yeah, I've got, I've got no defense. That wasn't very good. But I won the match, so who cares? <laughs> you can just see the coach saving underneath all that. Alright, let's rate my performance. Won that. Didn't get that. Won that. Oh well, end of the day, result. The game asked me to get. So there we are. Om nil, Real Madrid 5. <laughs> it's oh, one man. of those called the Marseille or something. <laughs> om, om, sound, om sounds like I should be eating that.
All right. So what's next? Cutscene. Cutscene. Hey. Okay. There we are. Alex oh, hey, Grandpa. Presentation. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, is his grandpa gonna need to die? Is he okay? He's totally gonna die in this game, isn't he? He's fine. And let me guess, Alex gets uh, so Alex, I don't feel so good. He's then, going to like he's gonna put well, the cross and then, and and then he's actually, going to see him actually, die. Actually, that's a that's a question I forgot. That scene with Kim was the grandpa. Playing that one too. Yeah, but um, but anyway, that's not the focus of the. All right then. I think sure might be. Alex. Be. Oh, the entourage. Oh, and this must be Mrs. Hunter, Catherine. Pleasure. B. And this is my granddad. Jim, Jim Hunter. No introductions needed. It is an honor to meet you, sir. No, please don't get up. I just I just wanted to shake your hand. Pleasure. Get off my lawn. <laughs> but this is a carpet. And the head of Villanova and Associates Marketing Department, Francesco Exposito. Buongiorno. A nice That's with a national, an ex. I didn't realize there oh. would be so many of you. Maybe it's well, a different kind of buongiorno. What, what, one? No, 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 the, no, the name. It's Esposito, so, non Exposito. Okay, so. We are Branding competition. Alex, Who has the better pitch? The Alex's mom or um, these corporate the people? So does Alex get to choose her? Yes. So basically, we got uh, wolf copyrights from Alex's mom. <laughs> just... Well, you see, for me, the use of a wolf here uh, suggests that Alex is part of a pack. Rather than his Actually, own. in fiction, the wolf is also mostly associated with loneliness. It's not so. very good. How do, how do you feel? What do you think? It's ironic because wolves do travel in the paths. fuck you're doing, mate. <laughs> Let's see. It's all right. Definitely got potential. It certainly needs some more refining. I wonder. I suggest since we can't reach our consensus. Oh god, that yeah. just wait till you guys see what their idea is. Let me guess, let me guess. Even if you do pick, you know, wolves it is, they still well, will argue because, you know, oh, no, they don't. oh no, they respect Alex's choice, whatever he chooses. Well, they get the idea, Jovan, is that the choices are kind of rigged in a sense that Alex seems to be enjoying that and it only varies the degree. Of his intensity. Because here's the thing. Considering... Oh, no, oh no, 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 no. They'll offer a counter pitch later on and you can choose between the two. What I'm saying is the one that um, B and her team go for is. Uh... <laughs> it's, it's, it's the shirt of Big Dick back in town. <laughs> uh, I think. No, it's just, a really, it's just a really crappy shirt, but I'll let you guys decide if you. I think I'm my sure, point. Sure. I think my point is like, well, my guess is that the choices are eventually going to be rigged so that eventually Alex has to turn into well. Uh, act over. I just, I just said they aren't. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish. What I said is like, well, they're rigged in to eventually get it so that either whichever way you pick, Alex is still going to end up being the douche that we see in Kim's part cutscene here and there. Well, it's a lead up to it. I think I think maybe the only thing that changes is what Alex is wearing. But anyway, join us in uh, join us in part twelve where we continue our excursion, well, and hopefully not have our ears destroyed by uh, See amazing ya. soundtrack choices. See, See ya. ya.